We have some shocking news tonight from the theater district. The Phantom of the Opera, Broadway's longest running show, just announced it will close within months. The announcement catching everybody by surprise. CBS 2's Alicia Reed live tonight at the Majestic Theater with reaction. Alicia. Maurice and Jessica, Phantom of the Opera, is preparing to celebrate its 35th anniversary. And after hearing news, the landmark musical is about to close. Fans have been stopping by all day, many of them in disbelief. The end of an era. I can't imagine Broadway without it. In five months, on February 18th, to be exact, the curtain will close for the last time. We all thought the show was literally going to run forever. That mask up behind me has been the symbol of this city for longer than most of us who see the show now have been alive. To think, since 1988, 19.5 million people have stepped foot through the doors at the iconic Majestic Theater. Ronald Reagan was president, and Ed Koch was the mayor of New York. The Majestic Theater is filled with memories, including last October's block party to mark the return of Phantom after the pandemic. The show holds a special place in musical theater student Madison Moore's heart. And it's always been super important in my family's life. Like they played All I Ask of You at my parents' wedding. That's all I ask of you. People from all over the world make their way to New York to see Phantom, including some from this tour group that just saw it for the first time. Never seen opera in my life, and last night I was just blown away. Anika Lowe has been preparing to audition for the last decade. I moved here kind of to audition for Phantom, so this is a very incredibly devastating day for me. The show will close after nearly 14,000 performances, a record. I'm just going to miss it forever. I'm so excited to see it and uh, before it ends. People have been stopping by the box office all day trying to score tickets to the final show, but they'll have to wait just a little bit longer. International productions in London and Australia will continue, and a Mandarin version of the play will debut in China next year. Live from the Theatre District, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News. Certainly is the end of an era. Thanks, Alicia.